Today we are going to be talking about how we can shade any hair system with Arnold Shader. So let's get into it. So I have a demo scene here as you can see we have a nice hair. If I turn the IP around, you'll see we are working with the default shader now. Uh, so I'm gonna start off by going into the any hair system here. And um, we have this is all these settings that I have right now. But let's quickly get into the shading. Now here you'll notice that this is the native shading that's going on here. And if you want to shade this with Arnold, all you have to do is go to Arnold. You can see the Arnold shader here, Arnold tab here. And here you'll find that we have hair shader. So all you have to do is click on this checker. And uh, here, go to Arnold shader and AI standard hair. And click on this. Now if we start the IPR, you'll notice nothing happens. The reason is because we haven't set the hair system to use uh, our shader so override here and now if you play this it should probably work now there you go now I'm gonna quickly get into the air stand here this is our overall hair shader and let's play this uh, now Arnold hair shader gives me one of the most realistic effect of hair shading you can see now here you have the base color how much base color you want if you want a certain type of brown hair and so on you can change the color here and so on and uh, then comes the melanin which is basically the pigmentation which gives the hair color its color the darker the skin is the more darker the hair are going to be so this uh, factor controls the overall colorness of this uh, if you want to make it a brunette or a blonde and so on you can pretty much control this from here and uh, then we have the randomness which controls the randomness of the melanin the color amount that your melanin is producing so randomize it and the redness and so on and then you have the speckler how much speckler you want the shininess of your overall hair so you can increase the roughness here the rougher your hair are the more you can see um, only here you're going to get so you can control that if you want you can make it shiny if you want uh, but comparatively to the native shader the Arnold gives Arnold here that really does give it a really nice effect then comes the tint if you want a certain type of tint you can add that color and you'll start to get that tint all right so it's not really that uh, useful but in some scenarios it is depending on what type of scene you're creating then comes the diffuse you can add a diffuse color and uh, Try to give it that color, whatever you color you you're going for exactly. And I'm gonna reduce the roughness. And uh, from here you can add your desired color. And then you have the opacity, uh, sorry, the emissiveness and uh, the opacity of that. I'm gonna increase this. All right, and uh, let's maybe give it a green color. So here, as you can see, we get the similar same option that you get on a standard surface. Just some difference with here and there with the tint and the melanin. Now, apart from this, uh, now going back to the main thing. Now you get a lot of different things, a different, lot of different options to create your hair, to create a uh, different type of uh, things and so on. Uh, but let's say you don't have that much time of creating your hair or you don't want to dive into the overall settings, then Arnold has provided a lot of preset for you. Uh, you can basically replace and uh, replace all selected and you'll get this nice hair and uh, you can start tampering with it uh, start playing around with it what type of desired look you're going for uh, exactly and then try to go for that if you want blonde it's there the pre preset is already pre-made and uh, maybe you can dive into how they have created that blondie look so you'll notice that uh, the melanin amount has been set to 0.100 and uh, the diffuse is set and the specular roughness is set to 0.200 right so this does really give a pretty nice effect and there are a lot of different uh, preset here for you to play around right and uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily regarding the hair system if you're creating a natural hair you can use this to pretty much if you're creating anything with the end here you get a greater control with this even if you're creating an abstract uh, you can play a lot around with this um, hair shader 
So if you have created a character and you want a natural hair, all you can do is um, you can basically play around here. You can uh, you can take the base color and uh, maybe search for ramp and ramp RGB, and again you can uh, play around with whatever desired color you want. So there are a lot of different options. There are a lot of different controls that you can go for. Uh, a lot of different things that you can pull off with this. It totally depends on what exactly look you're going for. Now here you have a cyberpunk look. So again, uh, try to play around with this. Uh, there are a lot of different possibilities that you can achieve. Uh, so have fun with this. So this was a short video. That's it. Uh, keep that in mind. All you have to do is uh, for your hair system, go to hair system, and um, in the hair system, go to the untab here and uh, you have the hair shader attach your standard head here and make sure to select override here and that will give you this nice hair shader and um, yeah that's it so have fun with this play around with this and uh, that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video